welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to see what is e1 e2 routes so before going to uh, what is e1 e2 routes i will just give the background of the redistribution so re after doing the redistribution we can see the e1 e2 routes in the ospf so what is e1 uh, sorry what is redistribution is like we already created the video and the video is available in our youtube channel uh, if under the description and the link is given in the description please go through the detail if you know about the uh, redistribution so redistribution is simple so if a company having two different company and two different autonomous system we having autonomous system in the sense like if router is if company is a is running edge rp company b is running ospf two different protocol if you want to communicate we are using the redistribution uh, um, technical terms so once we doing the redistribution we can see the routes into the ospf like e1 e2 route so the e1 e2 routes is nothing but so uh, external one route and external two routes so today we are going to see what is e1 e2 routes so we'll go to the video so we have created the, the topology here so i will just give the small background of the topology so company a company b and company c just for the example purpose so company a is running ehrp company b is running ospf company c is running rip okay so the configuration is already done so the ehrp is uh, built up the topology into this company a and same way company b we have built up the topology into the ospf and company c is uh, rip so i will just uh, this is the uh, asbr router so autonomous system border router area border router for ospf so i will just uh, show you the configuration of the asbr So we have created the uh, interface and the interface IP is assigned and we have done the redistribution from EHRP, OSPF and uh, RIP. And same way we have uh, configured the EHRP into this main router of the EHRP. So this is the configuration of the EHRP and this is the uh, OSPF configuration. This is the OSPF configuration. This is the EHRP RIP configuration. So here we have done the redistribution since uh, uh, since uh, we are sorry we have done the redistribution from the uh, main router. So from here we have done the all three routers uh, sorry three uh, subnets into this uh, router like. Uh, OSPF2, EHRP, EHRP2, OSPF, RIP2, OSPF, OSPF2, RIP. So three at through different protocol, three different company, we have communicating into this one topology. So I will just show you how this communication is established. So I'm just communicating PC3 to PC1. So PC3 to PC1 is successful in the sense like within autonomous system. In the sense like within company B, we are able to reach. So the traffic will hit to this router, this router, this router. So within the autonomous system, the communication is completed and it is successful so now we will try to communicate from two different company two different autonomous system company so it this is also success so we are able to reach the uh, laptop from the pc from ospf protocol to ehrp protocol same way we will try to see the rip uh, this one so for rip i did not configure any pc instead of that i configured the loopback ip address to validating so what is loopback and what is the purpose that also we have we created the video in our channel so the description will be given in the uh, below so please have a look This is the low pack IP address, so we are able to communicate from OSPF to RIP as well. So now what we will we will go to the our topic. So what is uh, E1 E2 route? So E1 E2 routes is, is like uh, external one route. So IP route, if you give here, so we can see here E1 and E2. So E1 E2 is like OSPF external type one. OSPF external type 2 so this generally will occur once we doing the redistribution so here we can see the all the routes IA means like inter OSPF inter area E2 means external 2 routes IA is uh, 
so here what is uh, e1 e2 routes we will see here so e1 is like ospf external type 1 and e2 is ospf external type 2 so here we can able to see the all the routes whatever we have redistributed from the different autonomous system ia is like inter area routes in the sense like within the ospf what are the routes is learning that is ia routes e2 means like external two routes which we are doing the redistribution from the other autonomous system so we are learning this 20 dot and 30 dot right so this 20 dot 30 dot it is learning from ear jerky so as per this topology 20 dot and 30 dot it is learning from the ear jerky and if you see the 100 dot uh, that blue back ip address which we created in the rip right so this sorry so this uh, low back inter interface ip address is uh, here it is uh, we are able to see here so this is the low pack ip address and the autonomous this is the ad value of the ospf and this is the metric type so now we are understood what is e1 e2 routes right so now i will tell you we are able to see only e2 routes so if you want to manipulate uh, from e2 to e1 how to manipulate is very simple so i'm just going to asbf router okay i'm um, typing show run here we can see we will get the running configuration so i'm just copying the redistribution of the os ehrp i'm just copying uh, configuration terminal router ospf one is the process id i'm just removing the redistribution command of the ehrp so it is done now what i'm going to do same way router ospf1 process id done type redistribution ehrp then just just give question mark autonomous system one have created for ehrp so i'm just giving one so it will ask metric metric type so i'm just giving the metric type so after giving the metric type give question mark so here we can see one and two so one is like set ospf external type one metrics two is ospf external type two metrics so now by default if you are not giving any metrics uh, it will be choose by two so why it is choosing by two is like it this is the ospf um, design so if you're not defining any metrics so by default yes ospf will choose two so there is like some possibility that uh, the technical we might ask what is e1 e2 routes by default which uh, e1 or e2 will be preferred so the answer is very simple so e2 is the default one so why is like this is the protocol of the this is the design of ospf okay now i'm just manipulating from one then i'm just giving the subnet here so this is done so now i'm going to this router now if you see so far we are able to see only the e2 routes right now we could able to see e1 now instead of c now e1 but if you see the difference what is e1 e2 so the ad value is 110 will be remained but the metric in the sense like this cast is will be deferred if you see before the routes for 20 and 30 it was 20 now it is 149 <coughs> now you understood right what is e1 e2 route so e1 e2 is simple e1 is including the internal cost to the abr with the external class but e2 is only the external cost so what it is mean like this router we are seeing right so what are the cost is available from here to here here to here that will be shown into the e2 routes but e1 route is what are the cost from abr from abr to here the cost what is there that will shown into the e1 route so that's why we are able to see the the difference from e1 and e2 routes so e1 is uh, 149 and e2 is 20 149 and 20 and the difference is here so i hope you will understand what is e1 e2 routes if you like this video please subscribe thank you for watching bye